हेलो एवरी वन डॉक्टर वेब लॉजिक लर्निंग बाय एग्जाम्पल्स दिस इज पवन देवर कुंडा इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट डॉक्टर कंपोज हाउ वी कैन फॉर वेब लॉजिक स्मॉल एग्जाम्पल हाउ डज दिस डॉक्टर कंपोज इज गोइंग टू वर्क यू आर गोइंग टू हैव सम रजिस्ट्री इट इज अवेलेबल रेडिली फ्रॉम द हब डॉट डॉकर डॉट कॉम or you can have your own local registry so this registry from there you are going to pull the images and you can create number of containers you can also build using docker compose build and build script will be executed that is docker file will be executed on top of docker daemon where it is going to have docker engine docker compose whatever you are going to write that is in a yml or yaml file that we can validate using the docker compose config it is just like apache hyphen apache ctl hyphen t you can stop you can start containers you can check the how many containers are running on the docker daemon and you can stop you can start opposite commands you can do and once you are able to start the on the container or uh, you containers are running you can check the logs which are generated for example weblogic admin server generating the log files you can see from the docker compose logs and if you are going to give the hyphen f that is going to check continuously log updates you can create n number of same type of containers for example weblogic manage servers if you want to create multiple containers then you can use the scale command you can give the number as many as containers required for manage servers containers you can also bring down all the containers in one go compose up and you can run it in a detached mode also hyphen d option is used for running in a background so this is how the docker compose is going to work number of commands number of options we have and how we can going to uh, prepare a yaml or yaml file multiple containers uh, you can write you can write in a uh, services and each one each container can become a service and in one particular container you can have number of ports exposed and the number of volumes you can have a command that should be executed in the container and uh, if you take one example as uh, weblogic weblogic server admin server or manage server whenever it is uh, created as a container then start weblogic script need to be executed as a first command whenever the container is up and running so command we can give on the port weblogic admin port you can give 7001 will be running in the container and same port number you can use if no other container is using otherwise you have to map to another port volumes you are going to have multiple uh, data directories in your host machine that can be shared or your application is going to very frequently changing then you can create your own directory that directory is always having the application ear var files that can be shared as a volume linking admin server connecting to the manage servers then links will be used there one particular container is running in a one linux host another linux host you want to interact connect then you are going to use the dockerized network a separate uh, isolated network that will be only docker containers can communicate so there are different variations available in the network configurations overlay network bridge network and a default network if you don't specify anything default network will be working for you on the same host you can use but if you are having two three machines running with the docker demons and you want to communicate then you have to use bridge or overlay networks yes if you are going to have a example of uh, an containers web application running on weblogic and oracle database running on the oracle enterprise database or oracle standard database then you can use the configuration like this let us go to let's jump on to the lab exercise to execute the docker compose you have to use the docker docker should be installed on your linux machine 
and uh, docker compose should be available so i have the 1.2 docker version and uh, docker compose version 1.9 and uh, you need to i have created a directory called wls underscore build where i'm going to use the uh, docker compose for building a new image to make a new docker image you are going to use the docker file so this is the same docker file which is uh, available in the uh, github I just copied that one and I want to use the different uh, sample application here. I want to use the benefits.war file as example. Uh, there you are going to have the sample.war file. Instead I am using this one right. Now let us see the docker compose file. How we can make that. I just created the docker compose sample file. So this is contains the WLS and uh, build and you can give the path for the docker file. Uh, you can mention dot indicates the docker file default file it is going to take port number which is uh, I'm going to use for the weblogic admin server this should be exposed and uh, command which whenever the domain is created the start weblogic.sh will be executed automatically so when container is created that will be executed all right so let us bring up the weblogic admin server docker compose and you can confirm this uh, docker file what you have is it correct or not you can just say docker compose config it is going to verify and it is going to show the syntaxes all and default values also it is going to show network there is nothing defined that means the default network services it is going to create based on the definition what we have given in the yml file and uh, the build option what we have mentioned it is going to take the path exactly where the file is existing and uh, command start weblogic.sh that should be executed automatically network mode that network default network it is going to create bridge network for this particular container and uh, there is no volumes we have we don't we did not share anything volumes array is blank now okay build process by using the build option this is a regular docker build kind of thing and it is going to create multiple layers creating one uh, image so it is based on the weblogic domain 12212 weblogic domain which is already created in the last session we have and this time we have the step 3 uh, that is uh, using the environment variables benefits underscore docker that is the name of the application and application package that benefits dot war file where it is located the location these are the three environment variables passed and that will be executing wlst script so weblogic domain is created immediately weblogic server start weblogic will be executed when server is up and running then you are able to connect with the wlst the wlst script you can see step 5 it is going to execute so this script is already copied in the step 4 so container scripts actually having the this python script where it is having that app deployment.py so if you are not using the production domain then you can simply copy the benefits for or whatever the application you want to test that will be copied to the domain directory auto deploy directory that will be easiest way of deployment yes this docker compose created build is completed now the in new image will be appear in the docker image list so WLS build is our directory name and underscore WLS is the name what we are mentioned in the docker compose we can bring up the docker compose based image based uh, container by saying docker hyphen compose up or you can use hyphen D for detach mode it will bring up and it will be running in the background so this is the name of the container WLS build underscore WLS underscore one this will be becoming the new container so you can see the list docker compose ps so this is the name of the container container and what it is doing currently it is started with the the shell script the comp the docker container can be started with bash shell or you can execute with some start script 
so start script up and running uh, it is going to bring up the container and you can also see the size of this container very very less and there is no change when you look at the domain actual domain size is the same and even though you deploy that web application benefits application the same size you are going to have it's a negligible size in in the minimum uh, the kbs it would be okay so this environment is up and running then we can test this application the benefits application is available or not let us check go to the browser and uh, you can see and you can see that is it available 192.168.33 and the port number what we have mentioned 7001 you can also check in the CA advisor container advisor there you can see WLS build WLS so this is a container and container ID now hope uh, it is loading now yeah it takes some time to load because the admin server is coming up container is from my virtual machine vagrant box all right let us log in with weblogic password welcome one and is it generating any log file for this admin server which is running so you can see the log file using docker hyphen compose logs yeah this is showing the admin server logs then uh, you can see the admin server is up and running and you can go to the deployments we want to see that uh, benefits application should be available in the deployment summary list available and it is uh, deployed to the admin server and docker cluster and we can test this application is available or not benefits yes it is available so we build an uh, image and then we tested that using the regular browser that which is mapped to the docker host admission so we have used build command ports uh, these are the things we have used for one particular service to bring up and uh, next we have uh, this container when you are going to create a weblogic container weblogic domain container there there are multiple layers we have used so oracle linux oracle jre then after that we have weblogic 12.2.1.2 you can use any version of weblogic here and weblogic domain creation with the WLST it is happen and then again on the top of that WLST based application deployment is used so this multi layer is actually minimal layer concept it is going to use less number of uh, memory less size of memory and it is going to save a lot of lot of disk space and it is more usable more easy to uh, decouple the things very easily and you can uh, decouple this application application deployment unit separately using the volumes that is the best idea and also when you are going to use this containers for the development purpose use the auto deployment feature of weblogic thanks I for being follow, with follow, me follow, 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 dr weblogic learning by example you stay tuned follow, 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 we'll be learning follow, follow, more and more about multi hosting multi container next follow, 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 follow,